before I turn it over to Brian. And, uh, one day I was getting pumping gas into my car, and uh, this gentleman walks up to me and he says, Hey, I need a favor. Well, you know, I'd only been in the office a couple months, and I'm thinking, well, you know, this is pretty customary. <laughs> Everyone who comes up there needs a favor. And, and uh, just so happened I knew him. He was a former student of mine, and then he said, Hey, this is what I need. And he said, I will be glad to give money to make it happen. I'm thinking, oh, I like these favors. <laughs> and he said, you know that sign right there by Kentucky Fried Chicken that slants and is not level? Can we get that thing leveled up? So that pretty well started the conversation on what we're going to talk about today. And it is involved from not only leveling that thing, to get the chamber involved and the A and P involved and create some new signage uh, that Brad's going to talk about. We're going to show pictures about, and then we're going to talk about where we're going to head for the future because all because Wade and I had a conversation. So thank you, Wade. And it already was on my agenda to try to get that thing level because when it was put in, I thought. I'm driving crooked or something. So Some, I think it was that way on purpose. So when you walk in, you'll know that Ben's just a little crooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, never thought about it. This time I'm going to turn it over to Brad Jordan. Why you eat? <laughs> Guys, again, th thanks for coming. And uh, Brent is not here, but I want to say thanks to uh, to Brent Davis for putting this uh, little program together. So, of course, we have our, our downtown sign, we have our gateway sign, and, and you know, it's, it's served its purpose. Uh, but really, what, what is a gateway to? Um, what, when you drive down military and the aesthetic sort of changes, what exactly is, is it a gateway to? Uh, you know, our city and our downtown have changed so much over the past few years that, um, I think that we need something that shows exactly what we are now and what we will be in the future. And you know, really, what's been happening recently is this wonderful symbiotic relationship, this balance between the old and the new. Uh, the new development is going in because our old buildings are so great, and, and new businesses are coming in all the time, new buildings, old buildings, and it's really wonderful how that sort of how that has sort of interacted with each other. We have buildings that are that have been here for centuries, or no, not for for the better part of a century, and we sit in the very middle of this of our town is our crown jewel, our 1902 Charles Thompson Courthouse, which is the anchor to our entire. That's what people are coming down here for. That's the gateway to all of this, and what's so great about it is all these structures are still intact. And besides a fire that happened, you know, a couple of decades ago, we still have the same buildings that have been here. Mary Kay, you can attest to this, when you were growing up. Are correct? you saying I'm the oldest in the room? The smartest. But what's happening at the, at the palace, what's happening down, down on Main Street, is sitting right across wow. the C.W. Lewis Stadium. But really, what's so interesting is, is the fact that the oldest building in our city sits right next to the brand new, wonderful, ultra-modern building. And I think that juxtaposition really is something special. And it's something that Benton has that I don't think that anybody else has. And that's what really makes a great city. And you see that all across the country, is you see historic core but it's not static, it changes. There's all this development that happens all around it. And I think that we need a new gateway sign. And Mayor, if you wanna do the honors. <laughs> all right, this is the sign we presently have, and this is the sign we would like to replace it with, is right here. Welcome to Beth downtown. Let me tell you, this, this particular sign resembles two other signs that uh, our A&P and Chamber of Commerce have been working on. They've had a committee together for the last six months, seven months, bringing in designs, looking at signs, looking at things. Because back in February when we had our town hall meeting, I made the comment that 
we need some signs that say welcome to Ben. You know, we are a welcoming community. The thing that I keep hearing from people that come to our town, and there was a couple, and I'll never forget, they, a couple from Hot Spring Village drove into town, got lost, ended up at City Hall, came in, I met them at the door, and I said, can I help you? And they said, well, yes, we're looking for the courthouse. Well, they drove right by and didn't know it. They were just an elderly couple, but full of love and energy. And I said, well, hey, where are you from? And they told me, and I said, well, what brings you to Benton? And they said, this is the friendliest community that we've ever been in. They were from up north somewhere, and they said, we consider this home. So when they considered it home, it made us think. We need signs that say, welcome to Benton. We don't have anything other than the wall over here uh, at 118 that says, welcome to Benton, home of the Panthers. We really don't have a lot that says welcome. Well, when the chamber got involved and Gary got involved and ADP got involved, they designed it. Look at it again. This is actually, just to go back a little bit, so with our new sign, this is sort of the landscape plan that we have to sort of address that. Cut out the concrete, cut out the, the triangle there, build a sign up, make it a lot more beautiful, a lot more presentable, something that actually is a gateway to what we have here now. A welcoming factor with uh, flowers and hedges all around the sign. But we also want to have trouble now. I'm, I'm in trouble now. Well, and I, and I put you down for 45% of the project, Wade, and I want to thank you from the city from the get-go. I saw you when you walked in, you were reaching deep down in your pocket, so thank you. But yes, and Gary, if you want to come forward, I'd like Gary to talk about some other signs that we're going to talk about, the wayfinding signs, because this couple made me think. They pulled up there to the corner by the chamber, and they didn't know which way to go. So they came up to the light and took a right and ended up at City Hall. Well, you know, how do you get where in that? Unless you're here, Carl, it's hard to find anything. And so not only did we include a sign, this beginning sign at 121 and 114 and over here at the gateway, but also some wayfinding Thank signs. So I'm going to turn it over to Gary right now and let him talk right, about that. Real quick, I'll pass those out. Shelly, this isn't on anything, is it? Not yet. <laughs> Y'all ever seen Michael Jordan? Not that I've You ever seen his cologne and stuff, what it looks like? It's got a picture. Watch this. Yep. Watch this. Look at that head. <laughs> I mean, that's it, isn't it? A lot of people. Carl, sometimes he stands behind yellow. me and puts his hair here, and I get to play with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, all right, I'm going I'm to tell everybody real quick. I'm going to say this. Let me tell you, this is our place. This is our community, okay? And what I would ask you to do is we want to hear everybody. We have a lot of plans in the next two or three years that we could, there's a road we can go down. But you know what? We're, it's going to take everybody in here to do it. And there's some issues. We have problems. We have everything, like every other city. A lot of people have a historic downtown. A lot of people have that. A lot of people have a chamber sitting on a corner somewhere. We gotta find a way. What can we do to make us different? What can we do? Because everybody in here has a, a business. And I think it's up to the city, the chamber, it's up to you to get this to the next level. And we gotta do it together. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't, if you know me at all, I mean, I spent 35 years with Coca-Cola that's all I did was sell a brand. I sold a brand. I didn't want anybody messing with I fired people if they messed with that brand. That's kind of like our community right here. This is our brand. We got to cherish it. We got to embrace it. And we have to love it. And let me tell you, if you go in front of the chamber right now and you come to that traffic light and you stop, you see a chamber, I guarantee you most of the people in this building have no idea of chamber commerce. They don't know. And then, like the mayor said, people come into our community, they don't know where to go, they don't know what to turn and all this. Well, we're probably going to do this out of our pocket, out of the chamber pocket. Of, you know, Jeff's here, he was a, he's been on the chamber board for a long time. Uh, here's a sign that we're going to place right in front of the chamber. Now, we still got to mess with some of the, the words on there. We're not completely, 
can get your so with all that the first sign Thank you. the first thing up on that sign will be the first thing we're going to do is put benton chamber of commerce we're going to put a star there that will show this is where you're at okay when you turn right or left or wherever you're going you turn right let's say you get down to the courthouse we hope to have a sign at the courthouse that will say, go left here. Brian Black is right here with his face on it. That's, that's what he wanted. So, so. <laughs> but we'll have some, a directional sign when you get to the next place. Then when you go around the curve and go somewhere else and you're kind of lost a little bit, we're going to have a sign that will tell you where to go. We went to Bentonville a month or two ago. When you go into that city, it's so nice when you see that sign and it's kind of like this but it really shows you where to go what museum to go to whatever <laughs> and what I would tell people here's what I'm going to say don't look on this and start getting upset if you don't see grandma's pawn shop or something on there <laughs> you know we're trying to be real specific and give real clear directions of some major things here's what's going to happen the board already voted it's chamber the sign that we have out there, we're paying for that sign because we, we want to make sure it's clean. If you go look at the chamber now and look at the two sides out there, they're just not real pretty. They're at an angle. They're all this. And we stopped about three years ago from anybody putting banners out there because that's that whole corner. You'd turn around five years ago and, you know, here's a banner of a flea market here. Here's this. Here's that. So we stopped all that. And then we put an LED sign up there. And that's been great for us. So we're trying to make that building look great. I thought that at the end of the day, when they pull up, that's some of the that's the first image some of them might see of bed. We need to make sure it's clear and clean. So that's what we're trying to do. And then we want people to go to the right, go to the left, but we want to make sure you know where you're going when you're in, in bed. A lot of times people come to the chamber and they'll say, how do I get to the high school? Now think about where the chamber's at. Think about the high school. There's nobody know. No one knows where the football field is. They don't know, you know. So a lot of times I got to get in my car and say, "Follow me," you know. And I drive slow, so that doesn't work either. But we'll get to. But people don't know where it's at. So it's something we're going to do as a chamber. I think the bids were in last night for the city and the A and P. This has still got to be approved. Not our sign in front of the chamber, but all the other ones. It's got to be approved by the A and P commission. That will happen in December. Hopefully, whatever they pick, whoever they pick, that's who we're going to have do our sign in the in front of the chamber. So I think it's clean, it's clear. Uh, anybody have a thought about it? I mean, hopefully it's a good thought. You know, one thing I do want to point out: you know, the bottom below Ben, what it says, <coughs> your home. I love because I don't care where you're from in the United States of America. When you come into the city limits of Ben, we want you to feel like you're home. That's right. And if you're home. You know where to go. We know how to get places in your own house, in your own yard. We want them to have that same experience here. We want everyone to feel like if they're not living in Benton, I want to live in Benton, Arkansas, because it's the greatest community around. And so it says you're home for a reason. It makes a point. These signs at 121 and 114 are going to say you're home because that's the way we want everyone to feel. That's the message that people come in here say, man, I just feel like I'm at home when I'm in Benton because people are so friendly. So let's promote that. Let's promote our great town and our city. And, there, so, and also, too, Mary, if somebody sees see something there, exactly. think about when you're at that traffic light, what really needs to be on that sign? Uh, you know, we we got a committee of about 10 or 15 folks, and, and that's a great uh, committee, and so they're – that's what they're struggling with. What are the four or five, six things that you can put on there? Uh, you know, we've talked about the hospital, you know, but the hospital already has those, those blue signs all over the place. So, it, you know, we're trying to make sure we put the right things on there. So, you know, definitely give me a call at the chamber and say, Gary, I think, you know, you need to put this on there. You need to put that. So I think we're going to, I think the two or three people we talked about, the GAM Museum, that's our museum. We need to probably put that on there you know I mean there's certain things I think we need to promote uh, in our city and uh, you know we got a great place y'all this is this is a great place to live and I I talk to other chamber folks all over the state and 
They're not doing the things we're doing in this community. They, they, they would love to. They'd love to be able to put a sign like this up. They'd like to put 20 of them up. We have an A&P commission that every time you go to a restaurant, you go to a, a hotel, if you're paying, some of the tax money goes to the advertising and promotion of Ben. And there's a commission that they meet at the chamber. It has nothing to do with us. They meet at the chamber. And I'm going to tell you, it's our, it's all of us. What do we want to do with that tax money? And right now, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm in favor of, I'd love to see 20 of these spotted out in the right place. I don't want to see them, you know, where you, that's all you see. But there's, there's some great locations we can put in. What a view, what a view and an image of our community. And, uh, you know, 2013, we opened up the event center. Mayor Manley really pushed that in. My word, y'all. We had, Nikki told me this morning, I wasn't prepared to talk, but the, so I might get these numbers wrong. But last year, in 2018, we had 205 people rent that building. This year through today, we've had 225. We still have, what, five weeks, six weeks to go. And Nikki said this morning, the whole month of December is packed. So I'm, and the, guess what's happened also? Since 2013, and definitely in the last two years, we've had six venues open up right here in a, within a 10 mile radius. And so, you know what, that's all business. And somebody said, Gary, does that bother you? And I said, no, I, you know, I hope 111 just hits a home run. I hope TJ with his new one. White's Furniture has one. I want all of them to do great. Can you imagine if we had all six of the new ones all hitting a home run, what this community would be doing? This is tiny, but it dovetails with what you're speaking of regarding how many people that we don't even realize are coming into Benton. While Laura was doing the bakery down here, she was also doing uh, Airbnb out on Shenandoah Road. Two weeks ago, she went live with Airbnb, and in two hours, she had booked November. Wow. All from out of town. All from out of town. Two hours. Boom. People want to be here. This is a, it's exciting. It's exciting what we're doing, and I thank God put us all together in this one place at the same time. We got to find a way to make it work. No, we got to find a way. Well, where it says you're downtown, we've always yeah. kind of been proud and, and pushed our historic district. That's right. Should that say historic downtown? Yes, it could. I mean, I mean I'm you really, can, I'm you sorry, can put historic in a little yeah, angle right there to really make it. I mean, because we're yeah. proud of and, and with our courthouse being the crown jewel. That's right. Just I would like, like to see that say like historic downtown. Well, I think so. <laughs> Things like that, y'all. You know, it's just a small thing. But well, it's, it's, it's small, but it's big. You know, it if you notice it, yeah. a lot of other people probably notice it. Because I still think you're really young. You know. Thank you. No matter what you're You look beautiful to me. Does anybody see it? You know, because a lot of people look. You want to show them the, the big, the big time game? Yes. Yeah, we're going to read it. There's a lot going on right now. It's a good thing. All right, y'all ready? I can follow up. All right, you got this, you got this look when you're inside of Benton, but the two big signs I think we need to show you. See how big that looks? Look at the person standing there. Is that Brad? Yeah. Because you don't know what happened. It's me. It's me. It's me. Can you imagine driving down the freeway? It's a 114 and 121, correct? It's a 114 and 121. So you come in our city limits. This is going to pop. And it's live. This is going to pop. So it's all a part of the same system. So it's all a part of the same signage system with this, with the, with the wayfinding, with the downtown sign. So it's all just hitting our brand. Uh, and I think it'll just pull us all together, really. 